let us say a few more words about the machine options work table speed settings as we told constant speed will be selected as the two times the start speed and selecting a 30 mm per second or 35 mm per second start speed is good enough and twice of this is 60 or 70 mm per second constant speed and a cut speed of 100 mm per second this speed relation between these three speeds is a good result. This, this means this relation gives a good cut result. You may increase this cut speed 120, 130, 140, even more, but you will see that your cut time, total cut time, will not be decreased so much. Instead of increasing this speed so much, just increasing the constant speed a little bit will affect the total cut time more effectively. That is to say, instead of increasing the cut speed in here to 140 instead of 100 you may expect a 40 percent increase in speed will decrease the total time total cut time dramatically but that is not the case instead of that if you increase the constant speed from 60 to 70 for example you will see that the total cut time decreased more of course while increasing the constant speed you will increase the start speed also as the half of it if you make this 70 make this 35 if you make this 80 make this one 40 millimeters per second per second and using speeds cut speeds less than the constant speeds do not give good cut results so this time let us obey the experience and use a start speed around 30 or 35 use a double of this as a constant speed 60 or 70 and use a higher value than this as a cut speed 100 or 110 around this or 90 but while increasing the speed do not try to increase this one increase a little bit constant speed and start speed it will result in a faster cutting operation and less total times and one more thing about the test speed slow if you increase the constant speed more than the test speed slow then this also causes some problems in the movements of the laser head sometimes this may cause the laser head move step by step or when you click on the touchpad positive x-axis direction movement for example if your constant speed is more than the test speed slow it will move a little bit and stop there but normally when you press on the arrow keys on the touchpad the axis movements are continuous but when you do this you will see that the axis movements are not continuous anymore to test the speed settings, let us draw a sphere having 20 millimeters each side. And let us rotate this by 45 degrees. 
and let us array this for example three in each column and three in each row and give a gap of say four millimeters in each direction let us give a cut speed of 100 millimeters per second for this drawing and when you download or export this file to your laser cutting machine and try to cut it if your constant speed start speed and the cutting speed are not in good correlation are not in good relation then you will see some soul teeth like problems on the sides of these rotated squares because both axes are moving together in x and y directions during these sides this shape is better for testing the head movement laser head movement than the normal squares because in normal squares each on each side only one axis is moving on this side for example x axis moment and on the vertical side the y axis moments happen but in these rotated squares both axes move together let us get into the work table menu again while cutting these if you use a very small start speed and very high constant speed you will see that saw teeth will be more effective so to decrease the saw teeth use half relation between the constant speed and the start speed and also if your cut speed is lower than the constant speed then constant speed will not be valid anymore because your cut speed is smaller so the machine will try to cut the pieces with the speed you have given for example if you give 40 millimeters per second speed for the cut speed and 60 for the constant then your cut speed will be 40 millimeters per second only the 60 constant speed will not be applied and also if you increase start speed so much and get it closer to the constant speed you will see that the machine with the software will give some errors so please try to apply these relations between start speed constant speed and cut speed most of the time to get better results of course you may find better these triple speed relations for example you may use 40 millimeters start speed and maybe 70 millimeters constant speed not just two times as that and just 75 millimeters cut speed you may have a good result with that one also this shape is a good method for testing the speed settings you found just make this these rectangles and array and cut them if your sides are good enough and salt it does not form or at least salt it forms at a at an acceptable amount then your speed relations can also be used for cutting and for machine configuration settings finishing this part let us jump 
to the work mode cut menu. In the work mode cut menu, you will see some parameters on the top. Do not play around with them so much, but you may play around with these parameters and you will affect the cut results dramatically with these ones. What is this menu for? You see circle speed. Circle speeds, these are the ones, these are the speeds for the circles. These are the default speeds for the circles. Circles, for example, from the radius 0 to 3.5, this makes a diameter up to 7 millimeters. Use the cut speed 40 millimeters per second. This is a default value given by you to the software. We define these default values. When you make a circle, for example, let us make a circle by giving the dimensions and let us make it its diameter as 6 millimeters. This is a circle with 6 millimeter diameter and assume that we have given a 100, 100 millimeters per second cut speed to the overall project. When the machine head comes to this circle, it first looks at your configuration settings, comes to here and looks which speed, which default speed is given for that circle, for that diameter. Since the diameter is 6 millimeters, the rad radius will be 3 millimeters. So the first line will be applicable. So its cut speed will be 40 millimeters per second. Although you have given 100 millimeters per second, the machine head will not apply 100 while cutting this circle, but apply 40 millimeters per second speed while cutting this circle. 